The Guardian News Credibility of Trump's EU ambassador pick called into question by leading MEP The credibility of Ted Malak, the man tipped to be Donald Trump's ambassador to the EU, is under question, the leader of one of the biggest political groups in the European Parliament has said. Johnny Pitella MEP, who leads the Socialists and Democrats, the second largest group in the chamber, responded to claims in the Financial Times about Malak, who is said to have been interviewed by Trump for the Brussels role. The FT suggests that a number of statements Malak made in his autobiography, Davos, Aspen and Yale, are misleading or contradicted by available evidence. The claims questioned include Malak's suggestion that a documentary he presented, Doing Virtuous Business, was nominated for an Emmy. The paper also casts doubt on Malik's claims to have been knighted by the Queen and lauded as a genius or global Sherpa by Margaret Thatcher. Johnny Pitella Johnny Pitella, Malik's personal credibility has been heavily put into question. Photograph, Stephanie Lekic slash EPA Pitella told The Guardian, after the recent press leaks, the character of Mr. Malik seems to be more and more controversial to use soft language. His personal credibility has been heavily put into question, something I would suggest President Trump takes into consideration before making his choice. Pitella also drew attention to Malak's personal and political hostility, not only toward the European Union as such but also to our common values and principles. For the sake of the current and future relationship with the U.S. administration, we strongly recommend President Trump not appoint Mr. Malak as next U.S. ambassador to the EU. Should President Trump be otherwise willing to challenge Europe so blatantly, I think the EU should then declare him, Mr. Malak, persona non grata, Pitella added. Last week, The Guardian revealed Pitella was one of the leaders of three main parties in the European Parliament who had written to the European Commission and the European Council calling on Malak's potential nomination to be the US ambassador to the EU to be blocked. Malak has made a series of anti-EU comments. Asked by the BBC why he was interested in moving to Brussels, he replied, I had in a previous career a diplomatic post where I helped bring down the Soviet Union. So maybe there's another union that needs a little taming. The FT's claims have fueled exasperation felt by many in Brussels over the fact that the White House has not yet ruled out Malik as a contender for the Brussels role. In Malik's book, he reportedly claims that his PBS documentary was nominated for an Emmy Award. The FT reports on Thursday that a spokesman for the Television Academy, which awards the Emmys, could not find any record of the nomination. WFYI, the production company behind the documentary, said the film had been submitted for a lower Great Lakes chapter regional Emmy but not nominated, the paper said. Malik was involved in a previous documentary that was nominated for a regional Emmy. The FT also reported that Malik had claimed that Thatcher, while Prime Minister, described him as a genius and global Sherpa at the start of a 1992 speech. I have used the praise and moniker ever since, Malik wrote in the autobiography, which is subtitled My Life Behind the Elite Curtain as a Global Sherpa. According to the FT, a video of the event does not show Thatcher giving Malik such accolades. Malik told the FT the global Sherpa comment was an established fact and that about 2,500 people had heard the remark. The FT says Malik also wrote that he was knighted in the Sovereign Order of St. John by the Queen, Elizabeth II herself and to my family and closest friends, I am therefore known as Sir Ted. Malik received the Medal of St. John in 2005. It does not carry a right to a title and members do not attend an investiture with the Queen. Questioned by the FT, Malik said, of course it's not a knighthood. I never suggested it was.